Dinosaurs first evolved around 233 million years ago, during the Late Triassic period, likely originating from small bipedal meat-eating archosaurs. They gradually diversified and rose to dominance after the end Triassic extinction. But before their rise, the world was ruled by other formidable predators from two major lineages, synapsids, which are distant ancestors of mammals and archosauriforms, which include ancestors of both dinosaurs and crocodiles. So here in this video, we will showcase the 10 biggest terrestrial and amphibious predators that walked the earth before the dinosaurs came to be. Let's get right into it. So starting off with number 10, we have Pampophonius. Pampophonius was a carnivorous dinocephalian therapsid that lived during the Wordian stage of the Middle Permian around 268 to 265 million years ago in what is now southern Brazil. It belonged to the Antiosauridae family, a group of large predatory therapsids, sometimes referred to as mammal-like reptiles. It was first described in 2011 by Juan Carlos Cisneros and colleagues making it the first confirmed South American dinocephalian. Pampophonius lived in warm, seasonally dry environments alongside the Dicinidin rastodon. The holotype is an almost complete skull with the lower jaw still attached, measuring about 32 centimeters in length, and this would have put its total length at anywhere between 8 to 10 feet long or 2.4 to 3 meters. Number 9. Ariops now, Ariops was a large, bulky amphibian that lived around 295 to 270 million years ago during the early Permian period, mainly in what is now North America. It could grow up to 1.5 to 2 meters long, which is 5 to 6.5 feet, and potentially up to 3 meters or 9.8 feet, and weigh as much as 90 to 200 kilograms. It had a massive white skull up to 60 centimeters long, filled with sharp, inward curving teeth and fang-like tusks, perfect for catching slippery prey like fish and early reptiles. Unlike modern amphibians, Ariops had a sturdy, heavily built skeleton with thick limbs, which allowed it to support its weight on land. However, it likely spent much of its time in or near water lurking in rivers, swamps, and floodplains. With its strong, strong bite, slow but powerful body, and semi-aquatic lifestyle, Ariops was a top predator of its environment. 8. Spinacidin Spinacidin was a sail-backed, meat-eating reptile-like creature that lived about 300 to 280 million years ago during the late Carboniferous to early Permian period in what is now the southwestern United States. It grew up to 2.5 to 3 meters long, which is 8 to 10 feet, and had a large head with a sharp, serrated teeth, making it a formidable predator for its time. Its strong limbs, muscular body, and powerful bite allowed it to hunt early amphibians and reptiles. While closely related to Dimetrodon, Spinacidin had a shorter, lower sail, or possibly just a raised ridge along its back, supported by slightly elongated vertebrae. Some scientists believe this may have helped regulate body temperature or display dominance or mating signals. Unlike fully aquatic species of its era, it was likely a fully terrestrial predator, roaming dry environments and dominating smaller animals. Though less famous than Dimetrodon, Spinacidin was one of the top predators of its time and represents an important step in the evolution of advanced mammal-like reptiles. At number 7, Rubigia. Rubigia was one of the most fearsome land predators of the late Permian period, living around 260 million years ago in what is now South Africa. It belonged to a group of saber-toothed mammal-like reptiles called Gorgonoptions, and it was one of the largest ever discovered. This apex predator could reach lengths of 3.4 meters, which is 11 feet, with a massive skull up to 80 centimeters long. Its head was armed with enormous saber-like canine teeth, some nearly 15 centimeters long, perfect for slicing through the thick heights of large prey. Rubigia had a strong muscular build, a huge jaw that could open extremely wide, and a bite designed to kill with a single slash. 
It preyed on massive plant-eating animals like dicynodons and pereasaurs, and nothing in its environment was safe from its ambush. The next one, number six, Innostrancevia. This was one of the biggest and deadliest predators before the age of dinosaurs. It lived during the late Permian period about 252 million years ago in what is now Russia and southern Africa. This massive creature was part of the Gorgonopsians, a group of saber-toothed, mammal-like reptiles. Innostrancevia could grow up to 3 to 3.5 meters long, which is 10 to 11.5 feet, and had a skull as long as 60 centimeters. Its giant canine teeth, up to 15 centimeters, were built for slicing through tough prey, like armored plant eaters like pereasaurs and dicynodons. First discovered in Russia in the early 1900s, its fossils have since turned up in South Africa and Mozambique too. It was likely the top predator in its environment until the mass extinction at the end of the Permian wiped it out along with most life on Earth. So starting off with number 10, we have Ophiacodon. Now this was one of the earliest large land predators, living around 300 to 280 million years ago during the late Carboniferous to early Permian period. It grew up to 3 meters or 9.8 feet in length, with a long low body, a large skull, and a mouth full of sharp conical teeth. This gave it a fearsome bite for the time, allowing it to prey on fish, amphibians too, and small reptiles. Ophiacodon likely had a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting in swamps, rivers, and coastal wetlands. Its long-tailed strong limbs and possible webbed feet suggest it could move well in both water and on land like a primitive mix between a crocodile and a lizard. It belonged to the Synapsis, a group that eventually gave rise to mammals. Though it looked reptilian, it was part of our distant evolutionary family tree. At number 4, we have Dimetrodon angelensis. Dimetrodon angelensis was a large sail-backed predator that lived long before dinosaurs, during the early Permian period, around 290 million years ago. Despite often being mistaken for a dinosaur, it was actually a mammal-like reptile, more closely related to mammals than to modern reptiles. This species could grow up to 4.6 meters long, which is 15 feet, making it one of the largest predators of its time. It had a powerful build, a big head with sharp serrated teeth, and most famously, a tall neural spine sail on its back, formed by elongated vertebrae. The sail may have helped with body temperature regulation or display to intimidate rivals or attract mates. It lived in swampy environments in what is now North America, and as an apex predator of its time, it ruled the land millions of years before dinosaurs even appeared. On the third spot, we have Titanophonius. Titanophonius, whose name means Titanic Murderer, was one of the top land predators of the Middle Permian period, living around 265 million years ago in what is now Russia. It measured about 5 meters, which is 16 feet long, with a massive skull nearly 80 centimeters in length. Its head was packed with long, curved canine teeth and smaller cutting teeth behind, perfectly suited for slicing through flesh. Its strong jaws and heavy skull suggest it could deliver powerful killing bites. Titanophonius had a long tail, a low slung, lizard-like body, and sprawling limbs, indicating it was likely a slow but powerful ambush predator, stalking or lunging at large prey like herbivorous therapsids. It belonged to the group Dinocephalians, known for their massive bodies and thick skulls, and was a close cousin to, to Antiosaurus. Now number two is Antiosaurus. Antiosaurus was one of the biggest and most terrifying land predators of the Middle Permian period, living around 265 million years ago in what is now South Africa. This massive beast could grow up to 5 to 6 meters long, which is 16 to 20 feet, and may have weighed over 500 kilograms, making it one of the largest carnivorous synapsids of its time, long before the age of dinosaurs. It had a huge, heavily built skull with thick, bone-crushing jaws and large, sharp teeth. The front of its skull was thickened, 
possibly used in headbutting behavior as either for fighting rivals or stunning prey. Despite its size and strength, it likely ambushed slower prey, like herbivorous reptiles and amphibians, in riverside or swampy areas. As an apex predator of the Permian, it dominated its ecosystem until the end Permian extinction event that wiped out most of life on Earth. And finally, number one, Prionosuchus. Now this was a massive, crocodile-like amphibian that lived around 270 million years ago, during the Middle Permian period in what is now Brazil. It's considered the largest amphibian ever discovered. Estimates suggest it could reach lengths of up to 9 meters, or 30 feet, about the size of a modern saltwater crocodile. It had a long, slender snout filled with sharp, pointed teeth, in a streamlined body with short limbs and a powerful tail. Its overall shape and lifestyle were similar to modern gharial crocodiles. It likely hunted fish, other aquatic animals and unlucky terrestrial herbivores that live in the swampy areas. Its eyes were positioned on top of its head, helping it stay submerged while scanning for food. As part of the Temnus Bondal group of early amphibians, Prionosuchus lived in a warm, humid environment and was likely the apex predator. After its time, no amphibians ever again reached such enormous sizes. And that brings us to the end. Comment down your thoughts on what you'd like to see next. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time. Take care.